Hello, everyone. If you are hearing this on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or YouTube, uh, this is just a teaser of the first few minutes of this episode. If you would like to see the entire episode, you can do so by joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash Calvero Sings, uh, where you can watch the entire episode as a video podcast on the Patreon feed. With that out of the way, Let's get into it. Hello, everybody. It's good to be back in the hot seat. The Calvero Speaks hot seat. If you've been paying attention uh, to my episodes, whether on Patreon or the public episodes for the past few months, kind of a running theme has been flopping, feeling like a flop, reckoning with flops. You know, my last two songs, I wasn't too happy with how the videos I was posting were performing and my uh, Spotify the streams were doing, and I was convinced that I was on this downward spiral and kind of like catastrophizing that every song that I am going to release on this album that I've worked on for the past two years, that it there it's all just going to get worse and worse and my fate has kind of been sealed. And that's because two songs didn't, didn't do great. It, it was very difficult for me to sit with the discomfort and hard for me to imagine that things could get better. Well, I can now report that um, my most recent song, Loving You Is Lonely, uh, featuring the great Jackie Venson on lead guitar, I released that about two weeks ago. That is uh, by far my best performing song ever in its first two weeks on Spotify. I got like a very nice algorithmic push from Spotify, so it's doing good. But look, this isn't the kind of kind of podcast where we call it a straightforward win, okay? We go deeper than that because we don't care that much about numbers. This isn't some hustle culture stuff. So I'm gonna get into all that. But first, you know, let's stay positive. Let's let's actually get a little motivational because I know people watching this you know, you make music, you, you do art, you post videos and stuff. Sometimes you get in little slumps and they're just slumps. Things are just up and down. And sometimes you're up for a while. Sometimes you're down for a while. And it's, it's, I made a podcast episode about it called riding the wave on Calvary speaks from a few years ago. It's just, it's just like a part of the gig. It's part of the job and it can be really uncomfortable, but like, Really, what happened was I had in in the four songs that I've released from this album, I had two songs do good and two songs not do good. That's 50-50. That, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. And yet the two songs in a row that didn't do great, I was convinced that, that my fate was sealed. That's just how it's going to be forever. I couldn't fathom things possibly picking up because I just got really negative and I got really scared because I'm afraid of failing and I'm afraid of being a failure. Let's be honest. That's true. Um, but the reality is when you put a lot of stuff out there, you know, it's it's kind of like before when I was only releasing like one or two songs a year. Um, it was like more of an event, more of like the people paying attention being like, oh, he's actually releasing a song. This is kind of a big deal. But now that I'm releasing a song like every month or every six weeks, it's been humbling to kind of, uh, you know, to to kind of grapple with the fact that like maybe not that too many people are waiting um, with bated breath (laughs) for me to release a new song every, every six weeks. And so by putting more stuff out into the world, I'm giving myself more opportunities to succeed and more opportunities to flop. And that is just like so... A part of the job and I think it's just kind of a reminder of like yeah if like one or two things don't do great that's you don't you shouldn't take that as a sign that's how it's always gonna be um things just like some things do well and some things don't some songs people react well towards and some people respond well towards and some people don't and you can't really take that personally it's kind of like as much of an anti-capitalist as I am, we are kind of like playing the game of capitalism. And it's just like the framing of the market wants some things and the market doesn't want others. And all you can control is like putting the love into making the thing. 
and then doing your best to put that thing out into the world. But then after that, you know, it's up to the people and unfortunately the algorithms to decide how it's going to be received.